Game Box here. Today I want to go through five things that won't work in Madden 24 that maybe you've done in the past or noticed in the past that day. You might want to go ahead and adjust your game going forward. Things that they've gone ahead and taken a look at either patched or changed in 24. Number one on my list is spamming runs. Now, we all hate a run spammer because it feels like a lot of times there's nothing you can do no matter what formation you bring out there, 3-4, 4-3, nickel, dollar, dime, whatever you want to throw out there. They just seem to gain yardage. And since most people go for four yards, they only need three yards to run. And then sometimes one of your guy trips over another guy and it's just an 80-yard run. It's very frustrating to go against guys just spamming stretch. We've all lived through Madden 20. Well, I guess most of us have. And that year was terrible, not only for the overpowered run game, but also the abilities and X factors and movement that we had that year. That Madden 24, it is shaping up to be like that. Because the run game is so much more powerful, run blocks hold pretty well, but they added a uh, AI feature into the game that has players reacting very well to stretch. Like, they react a lot better. Um, now, obviously, players with bad block shed or strength, they mentioned, are still not going to be the greatest at defending the run, but... With that said, the new AI and the new focus on stopping play spam in the game, which has been a major component of the community's uh, frustration with it over the years, the fact that we can't do it anymore on offense, it's a good thing, right? Mix up your play calls, play more like IRL, where like, you know, there were all reliance on the AI being bad on the defensive side of the ball as an offensive player. You're kind of, you know, hopefully your days are numbered. Obviously, it's not going to be that way, but the ability for the defense now to react and the AI play better and anticipate runs if it's getting called over and over is a W. Number two on my list, smaller players running through larger players. Now, how many times in the past have we seen players like, you know, Barry Sanders run through 330-pound run defenders or any other type of players doing that thing where... You know, maybe they shouldn't be power backs. Or on the the reverse of that, maybe like Deion Sanders shouldn't be able to hit stick guys like Derrick Henry, right? And they've added weight mattering a little bit more to ball carriers in recent years. And now I think it's kind of getting there because it's always a hard differentiation. What do you take weight versus actual attributes? Because if your break tackles, you know, 99 and you're 180 pounds, should you be breaking the hit stick of a guy like Atwater, Ronnie Lott, you know, some of these big hitters through history? Should it be on a stat or should it be on weight? Like, should a 280 pound guy with maybe, you know, 70 hit power be able to lay a hit stick and take down somebody with higher break tackle? I don't know. But so they've added a little bit more emphasis on weight as far as like defensive tackles versus running backs. There'll be some more scoop tackles. There'll be a lot more animations that way that maybe you won't be able to just truck through players you shouldn't be able to truck through. Like you should be bouncing off Derrick Henry if you try and hit him high as a defensive back. So I think that is a, a, a definite uh, a nice addition to the game that it a little bit acts a little bit more physics based and we'll see you know there's a big controversy in the community of course also how much should physics matter in this game versus you know gameplay and uh, should it be more deterministic versus what we see in the game right now. Number three, kicking the ball to the fullback is going to be a lot harder and something you might not want to do because they've changed around the kick return team that there's a receiver there now. And so a receiver on the return team, which is something we've wanted to add for a while, it's something that I've had halfbacks as my starting fullbacks for a while because every single kickoff went to the fullback and I had to be able to break out a touchdown based off that. So they added a lot better of an ability for players to react to that. Now, obviously, if you kick it deep, the block is going to be worse. But kicking it deep, you know, to the returners that you can field in mutt, I mean, obviously, IRL, you know, there's not going to have Deion Sanders out there, Devin Hester out there returning kicks and punts for you. But it's been a terrible a, a, a thing you, you've done for years, which is kicking deep, unless you can kick it out of the end zone because of the dynamic returners we all have. Uh, but kicking it to the fullback now, it's no longer going to be a fullback there. So having that ability, and I always wanted more custom uh, substitutions uh, for special teams, something that we could take care of, mainly, uh, you know, on, on the main menus or whatever. I know you can do formation subs and like franchise and stuff, but in Mutt, it would be nice too, to have special teams, the ability to kind of like set who you want on what special teams. So now the um, uh, 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 meta strat of kicking to a fullback is no longer going to be something you want to do in 24. 
Number four on the list, quarterback containing. If you guys played 23, there was it wasn't really a year of a mobile quarterback, which is a nice change, right? Mobile quarterbacks obviously are more powerful than pocket passers in video games. It has been that way. You know, Michael Vick in 2004 showed us all the power of somebody that's very fast behind the line of scrimmage. They've tried to nerf it in recent years. Abilities have helped a little bit balance out some of the, you know, top end mobile versus non mobiles. Last year, you know, they kind of slow you down a little behind the line of scrimmage. You're not as nimble. Um, they got rid of, like, you used to be able to hit L2 on your controller and, like, tuck the ball and run. They got rid of that, sadly. But there are, there are, are, uh, a little bit of improvements in 24 to quarterback mobility but also it se seemed like pass rush was something that wasn't that good um, and when you put quarterback contains on the field it basically destroys a pass rush unless the quarterback contain can, uh, is like an edge pressure quarterback contain where it just glitches out the o-line ai so in 24 quarterbacks now can get out the pocket because the pass rush is worse even though they say based off beta feedback they've uh, increased the ability for de defensive ends to disengage and shed and get after players and, and quarterbacks out the pocket still I, I do believe i've heard some rumblings now don't don't you know not me if this isn't as true but it's kind of back to the era of 20 where you can basically uh, uh idea guy shift your line idea guy and the running back will cut them and then you can escape out the pocket basically making defensive ends and uh, edge contains useless so it might be back to that era but just the straight up escapability of the pocket it's crazy and quarterback spies are gonna need to be utilized more than we've seen in quite a few years to try and contain these quarterbacks so whether you're four uh quarterbacks running around like you know on 22 with a skate artist going crazy or uh even before when we didn't even have escape artists they still were going wild um 24 looks to be an improvement over 23 as far as that or a disimprovement for the defense because good luck uh going into next year getting a pass rush and a quarterback contains to try and uh stop a pa rollout or something number five on my list is shutting down the ai and all madden difficulty specifically like patrick mahomes ai uh, they have absolutely tuned it up now obviously there's always ways to cheese out the computer since it's not like uh you know a stock fish or whatever the the ai for chess engines is right now um but they have improved it and especially for people like me that play like you know all madden mutt solos when you need to so they don't have a lot of them but if you're gonna play an all madden franchise and you're gonna go against some of these computers you are gonna have i'll just say good luck they're gonna find open reads they're gonna be very hard to stop as they should right mahomes is mahomes for a reason burrow's a, a burrow for a reason hopefully his injury is not serious even though i'm an afc north uh fan of another team i hate injuries i want to go best on best so ai should be hard when at the hardest difficulty so people might have to actually resort to changing sliders a little bit on uh, uh all madden ai for quarterbacks because of how crazy they are we might see some complaints this year but of course we'll see maybe there'll be some really easy way of cheesing it out like you know the millions of us combine our brains to do on a yearly basis in madden so those are the five things that won't work anymore in Madden 24. Let me know what you guys think, what you guys are uh, 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 hoping doesn't work go forward as far as, you know, cheesy between pass rush, run defense, passing, running, that kind of thing. Let me know in the comments below. Bye.